Anthropology, in its broadest sense, is a study of humanity as a physical and social being. Physical, which is having characteristics as animals, and social, which is our unique non-biological characters, what we call culture. And archaeology primarily means the study of antiques or antiquities. Archaeological anthropology is a subdiscipline of anthropology. It studies man and his cultures before the discovery of writing. It is an account of illiterate or preliterate people. It gives us information about the past, that is, the prehistoric past. In another word, it is a past tense of cultural anthropology. Whereas cultural anthropologists will often base their conclusions on the experience of actually living within contemporary communities, and archaeological anthropologists studies past societies primarily through their material remains, that is, the material culture of the former societies. One of the most challenging tasks of archaeological anthropologists today is to know how to interpret material culture in human terms. The course has certain objectives. After studying this course, the students or learners will be able to outline the nature and scope of archaeological anthropology, explain its relationship with other subdisciplines of anthropology and other allied disciplines, Enumerate the different methods of studying archaeological anthropology. Describe the different tool types, the manufacturing techniques and classification to understand the Stone Age cultures. And also realize the earliest evidence of culture in the world. The main learning outcome of this course is the understanding and recognition of the importance of studying anthropology. Moreover, each learner would like to ask many questions like, who were they, that is the early men? What were they like? What is left by them? What is the variety of evidences? Where, when, and how were societies organized? What was the environment like? What did they eat? How did they make and use tools? What contact did they have? What did they think? Why did things change? Whose past that we are studying? It is a duty of the learners to search answers for these questions during their course of study. The whole course is based on choice-based credit system. This course has two sections, theory and practical, having 60 modules, which is 40 theory and 20 practical. The theory has four credits, whereas the practical has two credits. Each credit is equivalent to 13 to 15 hours of learning. Each module is further subdivided into four quadrants. The first quadrant comprises audiovisual lectures of 25 to 30 minutes each. The second quadrant has text material, objectives, summary, glossary, FAQs. Third quadrant consists of references and web links and the fourth quadrant comprises quizzes and assignments having 5 to 19 MCQ per module, 5 assignments per module, subjective questions or project work or group study. There is final assessment paper and also question bank which can be subjective or objective. There will be interactive session also. In this session, 
the expert will have live interaction with the learners through video conferencing. The engagement time will be 65 hours for theory and 25 hours for practical.